mach mich auf dem Weg zu einem Autohändler. Mein kleiner Volkswagen, der macht es nicht mehr. Kauf mir einen riesen Mercedes-Benz, stattdessen den fahr ich dann aus wie besessen. Aber leider fehlt mir das Geld auf weh. Und so bleib ich halt bei meinem kleinen VW. I'm gay. Ranton. World War II. I know, I know, it's a touchy subject for you Americans. I mean, I get it. You lost, Germany won. Live with it, okay? Um, Anton, what are you talking about? Germany lost, you idiot. <laughs> yeah, right. A billion dollar company like Bethesda just made the whole thing up. <laughs> Listen to yourself. Anton, are you actually retarded? Do you know that this game is fictional, right? <laughs> You play as BJ Blazkowicz, which is a funny name because it actually comes from Blowjob. So he is the hero, right? I know he looks a little banged up here, but Jesus! He and his buddies want to take back the USA from the Nazis who won the Second World War due to their advanced technology. And all that Nazi evil is personified in the game's main villain, Frau Engel. <laughs> FYI, because I speak German, I can actually translate what her name means in English. That's right, <laughs> this channel is just awesome. It means angel. You're just another... Okay. But don't think this is merely a game about BJ Blaskovich and killing Nazis. It's also a very emotional journey full of flashbacks. A whisper. I get too fuck Wolfenstein 2 The New Colossus is such a straightforward first person shooter, I think I can get through the gameplay part pretty rapidly. You got a little more than a handful of weapons that you can either use classic style or dual wield. What else can you dual wield? My dick! <laughs> Just kidding, I'm Chinese. Levels are fairly linear but leave enough space for some exploration to collect newspaper articles and all sorts of other stuff that expands upon the lore. But mostly it's just this. Yeah. Who gives a schwanz? If you're not shooting at Nazis or looking for collectibles, you're probably picking up armor, ammo or health, which you will need. Because you will die. A lot. Depending of course on which difficulty you play on. Hey, I'm a baby. Please don't hurt me. Bring him on, Nuttensohn. Oh, I'm gonna fuck you. <laughs> but if you thought Wolfenstein 2 is a pure action game, then you're wrong. Because you can also sneak and stab people with an axe, because that is really silent. And in a lot of places there are Nazi generals that are indicated right here at the top that once you kill them will drop Enigma codes. That's right, Enigma. You know the movie? Uh, I know what you're thinking. GAY! These can be used to crack codes in the hub area that you return to in between missions to get the location of more Nazi officers that you can take out on side missions by walking up to this map of Germany ha! and then you can revisit places and hunt them down. A little side note here, I didn't expect Enigma codes to be that easily cracked. You gotta align the bottom lines with the top ones. Das ist faszinierend. But Wolfenstein 2 has even more to offer. If we take a look at the skill menu, we see a lot of circles. These actually work similarly to the skills in Skyrim. If you play in a certain way, you will get improvements for that playstyle. For instance, if you stealth kill people, you get increased sneak speed, and so on and so forth. Additionally, you also find weapon parts that are used for upgrading or rather modifying your guns. There are always three possible changes that can be made on each weapon, like adding ricochet bullets, armor piercing bullets, red dot sight, Blah, 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 you get the picture. And lastly, tits! Around halfway through the game, you get to make a choice what body enhancement you want to adopt. They each basically support a playstyle. One is for stealth, that lets you squeeze in tighter tits. One's a body armor that allows you to break through certain walls. And the last one is big boots to reach higher ground. Who's excited for this part? Huh? huh?
But one thing before we get further into this about the whole Nazi issue. It's time for Ranton's perspective. Why do people think German is such a unpleasant language? It can actually be a very nice and soothing and beautiful sounding language. Oh, sorry. Yeah. Was? Was hast du gesagt? Oh, so Damn. <laughs> There's just so much good stuff here. Although it might look like just another shooter, believe me, it's not. What is it that is so much fun about these alternative timelines where the whole world is full of Nazi scum? I find the super mechanized, technologically advanced Nazi evil empire so funny and interesting. They are just the perfect bad guys, the quintessence of evil that is reflected in every aspect of their appearance. The black and metal armor, the faceless helmets, the German language and all the symbolism that goes along with it just lends itself so well for an evil that doesn't have to be portrayed as multi layered or complex. I don't know why people even get triggered by this. These are caricatures, meant to entertain. It's a cool concept, incredibly funny, but also really frightening in a way. I love strawberry milkshake. It's perhaps my favorite American thing. So simple. It's just milk and ice cream. The rest of the menu, however, I think you will need to address. I think it needs to be more German. Yes! <laughs> <laughs> That's pretty good. What makes this even greater is that it's not only funny. Wolfenstein 2 has a surprising amount of depth and some very emotional moments that oddly don't feel out of place. They feel genuine and they are moving. Characters are actual characters, like this one. Why is it that balls are always used as some fucking default definition of bad assery? Small, little, delicate things. Resting all snug and warm and cozy and comfortable in their little wrinkly wrap of fucking skin. Shit. <laughs> that is a mystery. <laughs> What's not a mystery is the sweet juice they produce. Um, I think she's talking about Schwalwing Sperma? To be honest, I could go on and on about how the game walks a very thin line between splatter violence, a disturbingly sad future scenario, humor and emotional depth. And it does so masterfully. Even the main villain. Maybe it's because I'm half German and I can understand her, but she is so goddamn crazy, evil and hilarious at the same time. It's weird. It's just weird. Mm -hmm. Willst du auch ein Küsschen, wie du es in deinem Tagebuch geschrieben hast, auf deine dicken, fetten Wangen? Oder vielleicht lieber hier unten, ha? But enough of that, let's talk about gameplay. Isn't it nice that after so many years of video games, ah, I kill it with fire! The classic linear first person shooter still exists and it still feels relevant. That is a beautiful thing. No ketchup! Of course, games like this need the occasional what the fuck moment. What the fuck? Look at this wall, it's dirty! But guys, Wolfenstein is not the only thing that's walking on a thin line. I do too. Because even though I thoroughly enjoyed playing it, I do see major issues. And not just here a bit and there a bit and you're a dick, but and for the love of God, don't get triggered. <laughs> Wolfenstein 2 is a critically, a critically acclaimed game. But that is what I do on this channel. I'm just motherfucking honest. Although the gameplay is solid and works great, it is lacking. Or not really lacking, it's just very plain. Similar to this dog who is lacking texture. Wolfenstein 2 is lacking creativity, and I think enormously so, to a degree where I can absolutely not understand the love it's getting. Like people think if they criticize the game they will be branded as SJWs or something. Let me get this straight, my issue is entirely on a gameplay level, but let's get further into this. First of all, the leveling and upgrading your weapons is a very minuscule feature. It runs in the background and does not noticeably affect your gameplay. That is probably intended, 
but still don't expect a shooter with RPG elements. They are so forgettable that I actually forgot about them halfway through. Also, I found stealth to be rather redundant, unless you play on very high difficulty. All it does is slow things down, there is no need for it. And the stealth system itself also has a substantial flaw. If a soldier sees you but you still manage to kill him before he can scream anything, the alarm is still triggered. Now that is like rookie programming shit that doesn't make much sense. Maybe this one is just me, but I think the action is overall not very intense. It's just like, been there, done that. And let's just be honest here, what does Wolfenstein 2 offer that's truly unique and special? Nothing. The game lives off the setting, the characters and the gore, which is fine. But let's not kid ourselves, it's very much a by the book first person shooter. Great, you can dual wield. I've been doing that since Time Splitters 2, boy. Next up, I want to talk about the hub area and the optional missions. Both are extremely dull. I don't mean to let this out on Wolfenstein, but when have hub areas ever made a game better? That's sort of a more general problem. Have you ever, in gaming history, in a linear game, been like, hmm, I'm in the hub again? Yeah! I always feel like they are just annoying game stretchers that don't really add anything. And the same here, it's unnecessarily big and convoluted. <laughs> Who cares? It's annoying. The only real activity here is cracking enigma codes and going on more Nazi hunts. Although I guess that is the point of it, I found this method of introducing more optional content very transparently lazy. I'm honestly wondering, did you find this interesting? Backtracking endlessly to take out some guy who isn't different from any other guy? It just didn't do it for me at all. And now the final problem. Before this happened, I was still thinking that Wolfenstein 2 is a good game, but the ending is a no-no. I gave this game a a fair shake and I thought it's again a problem of personal preference. But the ending? Wow. What? The analfic? And this game is getting 8s and 9s. Seriously? I smell foul play here. The ending is so sudden and disappointing and anticlimactic, it's pathetic and inexcusable. No boss fight, no extraordinary huge epic battle, nor any real satisfying closure with the characters. You build them up so carefully and beautifully, but then you don't respect them enough to give them a proper conclusion? Just unbelievable. It took me 10 hours to finish it on hard. I could go back and grind through more Nazi officers, but I just don't see the point in that. There's no level selection screen and replay value is rather petite. Now get on the Enigma machine and the war map and do your thing. You guys are not going to like my final rating. Oh boy. Okay, so let's, let's do it like this. I just got a lot of new subscribers, so I don't want to scare anyone away. So I'm just gonna say the rating, you just hear it, and then I leave and run away, okay? Let's just get this over with. My final rating for Wolfenstein 2, the new Colossus, is a 6 out of 10!